Hey everybody, it's Jane. And Mike. From Earth Care Farm. We're here, it's the very beginning of spring. It's March 23rd. And the one of the first things we do in the spring is plant our peas. It's a great tradition. Yeah, <laughs> we've been doing it for years. It gets you out of the house, gets you back. You can feel kind of isolated sometimes in the winter and separated from things, but there's an inseparability of yourself with nature. And when you plant your peas in the spring, you kind of start to feel that inner feeling of connected with nature again. So this bed hasn't been touched since last fall. A lot of the straw mulch has blown off. We're just gonna remove the rest of the straw mulch, prepare the bed, make the nice furrow for peas, plant our peas, plant spinach alongside the peas, and then trellis them. <laughs> so we're gonna get going. Got our bed prepared and a nice furrow made for our peas. I've been soaking our peas for a few hours just to get them kind of, uh, they, they soak in all the water, get puffed in, and it just helps them germinate a little bit quicker. So they're here, and I love to feel them right now. There's feels so good. Get my energy into them and their energy into me. And then I'm just gonna, this is just not exact. This is just feeling it through, dropping them where they are, this is planting a lot closer than the seed packet's gonna say, but I find that they can support each other. We've got plenty of nutrition in the soil, and I can plant a lot closer than the packet says. This is how I think nature drops seeds too. I just kinda of think about that. Great. And then I'll just use this water to kinda of water them in a little bit. peas, my biscuit. <laughs> We're gonna cover our peas up now. The general rule of thumb is to cover your seeds twice as deep as the pea is big, as the seed is big, so it's not too much. Just a little dusting there. Tuck them into that nice, beautiful, dark soil. Oh, kitty. I'm actually now gonna plant spinach, so I'm gonna get our spinach rows ready. The spinach can be planted alongside the peas. I just use this handy end of my rake to make a nice line. The peas will help shade out the spinach when it starts to get too hot for them in late May, June. All right, so we're gonna mark where our peas are. We're gonna put some spinach Space spinach, that's one variety of smoothly spinach on one side, and I'm gonna do the um, Avon spinach next to it. I use whatever I can for marking. Just make sure you mark, because it's easy to forget where you planted things. Um, these are just little craft sticks. Avon spinach, and I put the date, 323. Boop. Everybody's marked. Okay, again, same kind of thing with the spinach. I don't really worry about what the packet says. This is supposed to be fun, take not much time. These plants can support themselves here. I'm just using my wrist to drop the seeds. You know, they're about a half inch apart, but we're not gonna stress about it. Great. I'm gonna do the space spinach on the other side. If you try to do it just the way the packet said, it would take you forever. Yeah, Measuring. I got other things to do. Some people like that precision. If, if that's it, you do you. If you got the time. Yeah. Cover up those furrows. Just a little bit, seeds are small. And you'll notice I left it in the pathways. It's great for keeping weeds down in the pathways. We're gonna get a good rain tomorrow. It says 100% chance, so these are gonna get watered in nicely. I'm not gonna water them now, but then once they do get wet, we do have to keep them regularly watered until they germinate. And then I can kinda go to a few times a week if needed. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is put up our trellis now. 
I find that as the spring gets busier, it gets hard to get that trellis up, and if you don't get it up, it's a mess. There's lots of different trellising methods. We like to use what we have around at the farm. I have a lot of these T-posts. So we're just gonna use three of these T-posts that I'm gonna pound in. I'm gonna get started with my foot. Make sure you're wearing boots. And I have a great post pounder. Got my post pounding mittens on. <laughs> Okay, a lot easier than a hammer. That's nice and sturdy. You can see many trellises in the past have been on this. It's gonna go down and do three of these. So as these peas germinate, we're just gonna add some lines of twine as they grow and they'll start to grab onto those. And I'll just add lines of twine as we go on. Super simple. This whole process, planting peas, spinach, making the bed, trellising, took us less than 10 minutes. So you can do this at home, it's really fun. And Jane's very efficient at it. It might take you a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> I could probably be more efficient though. I bet you there's farmers watching this being like, ah, oh, why didn't you use the Earthway Cedar? Right. <laughs> but <laughs> but um, yeah, it's great. It's fun and there's nothing like sugar snap peas in June. Yeah. So good. So enjoy. It's thank like you. It's like candy. Yeah. Thank you so much.